we had previously put little green paint marks so you can identify the positioning of the harmonic balancer relative to the timing mark on the lower timing belt cover. So as long as that little notch on the harmonic balancer pulley matches the zero degree mark, you're ready to start the process of removing the timing belt covers and replacing the broken timing belt. The timing belt broke. It was a, looked like a clean break. That's what it sort of looks like right here. I'm going to take the belt off. I checked out the bearings. They don't seem well worn. There's a tensioner bearing and there's an idler bearing down here. These bearings seem okay. So I just think it was just a defective belt. So what I did was put paint paint alignment marks on the crankshaft pulley and the engine casing. So if you see that green mark, that's what I painted on so that if the crankshaft moves a little bit, I know where to reposition it. So you could take this cog off right here, see? Put that little paint mark right there. See, there's nothing on the crankshaft pulley to identify top dead center. So that's why uh, you have to use the lower timing belt covers and harmonic balancer pulley to get it to zero degrees. Once you got it there, then put a little paint mark here. Now we have to move the camshaft to top dead center. So that would mean taking this hole over here. We turn the, the camshaft sprocket until this hole over here matches a notch that you can't see right now, right around here. Okay, so now I'm going to rotate this until I get that center mark aligned. You can see the little groove right over here. You know what I'll do? I'll put a little paint mark in there too. I'll rotate this until I think it's pretty much... Oh, there we go. It just snapped right there. Like, it's, like it wants to snap in place. So I'm using this mirror to see if my hole's in alignment. And it is. You could see the little green paint mark that I just recently put on there. We're at top dead center up on the camshaft. So at this point, you can uh, proceed doing a normal timing belt replacement as though uh, you're doing a timing belt change instead of servicing a car with a broken timing belt. Now, somebody who had previously worked on, it looks like they put a little paint mark over here, and we're going to do the same thing. So you don't have to line it up with that hole, just line it up with this dot. So I'm going to have to remove the timing belt tensioner spring. Okay, that's off. And I have to relieve the tension on the tensioner pulley. So now the pulley's loose. Now, before I mount the belt, I like to advance the camshaft just slightly forward to ease installation of the belt. So I just move this a little bit forward. And now I'll put the belt on. Okay, the water pump goes over the water pump. Then the idler pulley. I put a little clip over here so the belt doesn't pop off. Then down to the crankshaft. Oil pump. Now I gotta get over this tensioner pulley. Okay, it's on. So, when I move the camshaft counterclockwise back to the alignment mark, there should be no slack on the belt. That means we should have perfect alignment. Okay, we're at the dot. There's tension on the belt. So, we match the dot over here. No slack on the belt. And then we go check the crankshaft. The crankshaft hasn't moved. So we're in perfect alignment. Now we can start tightening everything up. Now this is the tensioner spring that goes on the tensioner bracket. 
Now it's supposed to have enough tension where it knows the exact amount of tension to have on the belt when you're doing a timing belt job. So I'm just putting this over. Okay, so it pulled some of the tension on the, the tensioner side. So you still got a little bit of slack here. When, now at this point, what I'm gonna do is start the engine and let the belt seat in and then retension it. Yeah, there's a lot of wobble in the belt, so uh, we're going to shut the engine off. You can see the wobbling right over here. So there's too much slack in the belt. We're going to add more tension to the belt. So we're going to apply tension on the right side. Okay, so we got it good and tight on the right side. This side has is a little bit loose, so relieve the tension on the tensioner bolt, and the spring will pull the pulley up. Okay, now we'll torque it down again. It's tight. Yeah, it's it. It only has to move a hair, and that's enough to stop the that bouncing of the belt. Oh, that looks much better. Yeah, that looks much better. And we're done.